This portion of Lee Pitts Live is brought to you by Hodges University, educating the leaders of our community for over 20 years. We're delighted here at Southwest Florida to unveil an entrepreneur, a guy who's taken America by storm with his great work and designing of uh, clothing wear. Uh, the company is, uh, is, is rising throughout. You're going to see the website on the screen. The company called is Baby Food Clothing Company, and we're the owners here, Rod, Roderick Franklin. Roger, let's bump our cups, man. Look straight at me, Roger. First of all, let's take a look at this, Diane, if you don't mind. Roger actually designed this for... It's a keychain right here to give an example of Lee Pitts Live on the keychain. And then that's the, uh, we'll hold that up. Roger, tell us what, what, what went into the design of this. How do, how do, you, how do you go about that, that thought process? Well, I uh, took a look at the layout, the size. Okay, what could I get on there? I definitely wanted to give you special thanks. and Appreciate that. Also represent the company. And on the back side, definitely put the company logo. I think it's like this, right? Yes, sir. That 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 face. Tell us about that logo. We see it on your shirt as well. It's like a. Uh, go ahead, and open that shirt up, and we'll let Steve Steve get a shot of that shirt. Tell us what we're looking at there. That's the face of ambition. Basically, as you see, he's looking up. So you know he's um uh, not giving up. Uh, you can consider him the uh, underdog. That's uh, not giving up, and you know is considering, you know, doing um whatever. His heart desires. Mm -hmm. How did you get into this whole industry that you're in now? How did you first get started? It uh, initially started as me taking my art and going to an associate's uh, shop and heat pressing it on shirts. And once I started working in a graphic design shop, my sights were set on creating a logo so that I can actually grow it into a company. Okay. Now, the... Um what does your company do? My company creates T-shirts, primarily, also hoodies, flip-flops, keychains, bumper stickers, so on and so forth. Now, when people go to that website that we have on the screen, what can they expect to see at your website? You will see a various assortment of uh, shirts. Of course, the main logo. We also have sub-brands such as Copilot, which is uh, a tribute to co-pilots and uh, wingmen, and also uh, it also signifies um, God being first, uh, you being second. So, you know, he's the um, primary co-pilot for your um, life, and you're the co-pilot. Okay, and we're looking at some of your images on the screen. You seem like you really take time and detail into your work to represent you and your company. Uh, tell us about your philosophy about the product that you put out. My philosophy, my philosophy behind it is uh, definitely a positive one, which is wanting people to get outside of the negative stereotypes and living in a more positive light and breaking the mold of um, assumption, like, you know, forget about where you come from, forget about what you look like, strive for the things that you're talented in, and go from there. Tell us what the response has been from the public when they've seen your work and, and, and worn your, your, your work. It's definitely been a positive one, especially um, from victims of uh, bullying. Like, it has really uh, motivated them to want to live and actually uh, stand up for themselves. Uh, people striving to uh, gain employment regardless of where they come from. Uh, finishing college, starting their own business, regardless. And uh, actually, it's not a, even uh, being the U.S. alone. It's been worldwide. Great. Now, we have uh, your, 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 your work appeals to all races, ages, and so on and so forth. Uh, when, you, when you first started to put together the company, uh, what was your goal? My goal was to ultimately... Uh, do just that, um, bring unity, you know, forget about the um, negativity, forget about um, barriers, because people set those barriers up, like whether we want to believe it or not. So forget about those, um, try to live in a positive light. Let's do this for the kids ultimately, which is um, one of our um, biggest goals. And 
my blessings will be a blessing, especially in um, Southwest um, Florida, to impact the kids especially. Mm -hmm. How do you see your company getting to the next level? I see my company getting to the next level by working with vendors and manufacturers to actually get the products in store because it's uh, easier to actually reach the customers in store because uh, online customers will go to a uh, website that they're generally used to. So it's uh, like very few, like people don't actually realize. So in store will be a, a positive impact. Hey Rick, let's take a look at those pictures again. Uh, who are some people that you like to really thank for helping you to get to the point where you've gotten today? Uh, first and foremost, God, because uh, through him all things are possible. My beautiful wife, my wonderful mother, supportive siblings, uh, family, friends, loved ones, the supporters, and definitely yourself for giving me the opportunity of being on the show. No, I'm glad to have that opportunity. Uh, let's talk about price points uh, in terms of how you're pricing your product. When people take a look at your website, look at t-shirts, caps, sweatsuits, whatever, they can come to you and tell you what they want to have your design around, right? Uh, how, how about prices? How you feel about how you, your price is in terms of competition? I generally try to keep my um, prices fair. You know, uh, everyone's not uh, being raised in a mansion or, you know, have a silver spoon in the mouth. So, you know, I definitely try to keep it affordable and fair so that it can be uh, obtained by the masses. And definitely from there, um, motivate them based on what we believe in. Okay, great. Now, you're a native of Fort Myers? No, uh, tell people where you're from and where you're at now. Uh, raised in Fort Myers. I was originally um, born in Kansas, uh, and I currently reside in Orlando. Mm -hmm. You went to high school in Fort Myers? Yes, or Fort shot, Myers High School. Yeah, shot your high school out, your elementary school, all that. Shot the Green Wave, uh, uh, Allen Park Elementary. Uh, I went to uh, Dunbar Middle School. Okay. And um, that's about it. You're a role model, man. Just yeah. let everybody know that, okay? Just shout out to the um, uh, parents, teens, <clears throat> kids out there. Uh, continue striving to um, do your best regardless of um, where you come from, don't let that stop you. Um, keep on um, pushing, regardless of um, the negativity. You can do it, believe it in your heart, and um, reach out to the positive people in your life. Take advantage of the time that you have in school and utilize those resources. Okay, couldn't have said it better myself. Well, Roderick, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. Definitely a pleasure to meet you. And much success to you. Thank you. Okay. As the saying goes on this particular show, for those who say it can't be done, they are usually interrupted by those like Roderick and all the fine people who are associated with his clothing company who are doing it.